secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried All right, everyone, I'm back with a really simple 6.2 Assassination Rogue Burst Guide. It's going to lay your opponent out on the ground every time you're going to take that flag, you're going to take that base, you're going to stealth cap this, you're going to win that game because this burst is all you need. I'm going to lay it out for you guys, first with the combo, then with percentages and how it stacks up. This one-shot combo is downright guaranteed to make people want to do this every time. Just go die. So you're first going to start with Cheap Shot, then you're going to Rupture, you're going to Mark for Death, you're going to Vendetta plus the Trinket, you're going to Death from Above, right thereafter you're going to Vanish, and then get the extra in Venom off. And then it should be easy mutilate dispatch span from there if they're not ready for the one shot. Break down what I just got done doing there. So to begin with, you're going to cheap shot. So that awards your two combo points. So then you put into your rupture that's going to give you your energy regen. So that's what you want so you can start up your combo for afterwards once you're done and you need to finish them off and you just need the energy to get it out there. That's what you're looking for, the extra energy, right? Now with Cheap Shot, if you run, prey on the weak, there is 10% damage, all right? So you start with your basis. So now you have 10%. Unless they trinket it, that's an extra 10% on your damage. So right after your Cheap Shot Rupture, you're going to start your combo by Mark for Deathing. So they had zero combo points after using your Rupture. You now have five combo points on your target. So then you're going to Vendetta plus your Trinket. So that's going to give you 30% extra damage. Plus the 10% if they're still in that stun. All right. Plus you're also getting the extra versatility you're getting off your Trinket. Now, depending on which one you have, either the Conquest or the Honor one, or whatever you're running at the time, but you're still looking for that extra versatility that's going to give you anywhere between 5 to 9% extra damage on top of your burst. So now you've got your Prey on the Weak, that's giving you 10%. You've got Vendetta, that's giving you 30%. And you've got your Trinket, that's going to give you anywhere from 5 to 9%. So now you're just going to death from above now this death from above is going to do 50 percent stronger than your regular in venom so if you think of your regular crit of your in venom as about a hundred K all right you get 50 percent stronger so that's hundred and fifty K and then you add an extra almost 50 percent on top of that from all of your cooldowns, your Vendetta, your Trinket, your Stun, Prey on the Weak, you put that all together, and there is your almost 100% more effective in Venom that's going to just annihilate with your damage. That, when you crit, is what you're looking for for all of your crazy, crazy damage. It's going to just shock them. They're not going to know what to do. They're going to panic. They're going to pop cooldowns. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for defensives, or you're looking to instantly kill. Either one's going to give you the advantage. So right thereafter, now because of your set bonus, you're going to get five combo points when you vanish. So after all your craziness, you've still got your added damage because of your trinket's still up, your vendetta's still up. So you're doing all that extra damage. Right, so there after you vanish, you can open again with a cheap shot for your stun if they've trinketed, or if you're looking to just get the trinket again, or if they haven't trinketed, whatever the case, you can stun, 
that gives you your extra 10%, and then you've still got all that extra added damage to you, so you vanish. So now, your next in Venom has a 100% chance to crit. So there's your big crit in Venom that follows your huge death from above that's going to just take out all of their health. So you're going to use those five combo points when you vanish. You're going to instantly vanish. You can either open up with the stun again, which is going to give you the added damage, or you can just go ahead and use the Venom. This is where all your damage is coming from. It's coming from your combo of all your damage that goes into your death from above, then your vanish that goes into Envenom. And right there should take out anywhere between two-thirds and all of their health if they do not pop any defensives at all. After that, it's easy to just finish them off with little mutilate pickoffs and dispatch spamming with your kidney shot thrown in there to get your extra added damage from your prey on the weak, and then finishing them off with your combo point users. So, uh, let's see this in action. Yeah.